靠我。<笑>
it's okay to be anxious about that it's okay to be scared because you're putting yourself out there and you might feel nervous you might feel insecure about yourself which is totally fine but just remember to stay true to yourself and show who you are because that's what people will look for that's what will keep people on your channel on your videos if you're just yourself if you're you if you do crazy weird stuff which is totally fine because i'm crazy myself and yeah and while being yourself you can always experiment with your style what you like what you don't like you can do all sorts of different kind of content and just see where that brings you you don't have to show everything from yourself and sometimes you might feel insecure at first by showing your personality but that will come in time that you will grow that you'll feel more secure with showing who you are so it's okay if you don't show the entire thing of who you are as a person totally fine but just don't pretend and don't be fake another tip is show it don't say it so show you weren't shopping show you did some cooking show you did some cleaning instead of talking about it because it makes it more interesting so have a shot of you shopping at your supermarket or shopping at H&M, Brandy Melville or any other store or show that you are cleaning a part of your house instead of saying that you did it because if you just say you cleaned your house and go through each step people will cut off of your video another example is just to show it. you don't have to say much in that particular video or clip but just show what you did have a bit of music or have a bit of a voiceover or just anything but just show it and don't say it before uploading your video onto YouTube, you should watch your video first. If you can't sit through the entire video, then probably no one else will. And then it's probably best to reshoot it or just delete the whole thing altogether. What you can do is you can send the video to a friend and ask if they can give you some feedback on your video and what you can do to improve or maybe what you can just change to make it a bit more interesting or just what they think of the video. And what you also can do is watch it together with a friend so you can see what the reaction is while watching the video if they're bored at certain parts, if they grab their phone. And yes, it is terrifying to see yourself because <laughs> I still have that issue watching videos of myself that I'm like, I'd rather not see myself on the screen, but it will become better. If a video is boring, add sound effects, add pop-up buttons, add pop-up photos, add a little song in the background, just add things to make it more interesting and to grab the watcher's attention. Figure out what your long-term goal is and how to get there and just go through it in baby steps or how many steps you have to take to get there. Don't fall into the trap of all those viral videos because if it has nothing to do with your long-term goal, then don't do it. Personally, I don't do all of those viral popular videos because they don't interest me. So if they don't interest you, then I just say don't do it. Follow the videos you want to make. Yes, it's okay to make a couple of those videos that are super popular that will be maybe viral, but only if you enjoy making them because I think I've only done one of those things that is kind of semi-viral, I don't know, but I've only done I think one of them which was kind of popular and it was because I liked doing it as well and I wanted to try it out. It can get toxic to do all of those viral popular videos because yes, it may get you a couple of thousand views but that's just it, like it won't get you anywhere further to your goal and it will get toxic to only do it because of the views. Also, worth making the content, make content that brings value to people. Anything that will have engagement with your viewers, to keep them engaged with your video and to have them get something from your video that they learn something because no one wants to sit through a video that doesn't teach them anything or that doesn't make them want to engage with your video. 
Now I'm just going to give you some extra tips for your channel. So the first thing is to be consistent. So that basically means that you upload frequently. So let's say you upload a video twice a week. Try to keep up with that by doing two videos every week. If you can't do that, cut it down to one video every week and try to upload it on the exact same day so your subscribers, viewers will know, hey, so-and-so is uploading today or tomorrow, can't wait for that video and they're ready to watch your video because if you upload one week on a Monday, the next week on a Wednesday, the other week on a Thursday and then on a Sunday, they won't know when to expect a new video from you. So try to stay consistent by uploading frequently. Also be patient because it takes a really long time and just don't expect a growth overnight. Don't expect success overnight because who's had success overnight? Seriously, basically no one. So just be patient and it will eventually come or not, <laughs> but that can happen that it won't come, but just be patient and eventually it should and it will come, even though it might take a really long time. Let's talk thumbnails because thumbnails are the most important thing of your video. Unfortunately, they are the most important thing. So you have to make your thumbnail super interesting so people want to click on it because you can have the most interesting thumbnail but the most boring video but still people click on it and okay they might not watch your video because it's boring but at least they clicked on your video to see what the video is about, what it is because they liked your thumbnail. Then you can have the most interesting video but the most boring thumbnail which is something that I need to get better at myself so if you have tips for my thumbnails feel free to help me out because I'm a thumbnail pro I'm still learning I'm trying and I'm hoping to get there so I'm being patient and hoping that my hard work will pay off but make sure that your thumbnails are interesting but don't use clickbait because that will backfire at you. Just make your thumbnails interesting, true to what the video is about. For my thumbnails, I use the apps Fonto, Lightroom, and Pixart. So you can use those editing apps to edit your thumbnails, or you can actually use other editing apps, which you can look on the internet and find for the ones that suit you best. Create captivating intros. So by that, I mean keep your intros interesting and as short as possible, because most people cut off of a video after 30 seconds so if they don't find your intro that interesting after 30 seconds it's more a goodbye and I'm not gonna watch your video again so you want to keep your intros as short as possible and make them interesting and just keep them short and by keeping it short instead of saying subscribe to my channel get this video big thumbs up which I've done a couple of times in my videos what you can do instead is have a subscribe button somewhere in your screen and add a sound effect so they know like oh yeah this is like interesting and they can subscribe or have like a thumbs up thing or with your Instagram instead of saying follow my Instagram have it on your screen by showing your Instagram profile with a couple of pictures also just remember that quality is over quantity so if you can't make that many videos that's totally fine because the quality of your videos are far more important than the quantity so if you can't do a video every week then do it every two weeks or every three weeks just remember that quality is over quantity mm -hmm.